So, hi everyone. Tonight I'm here to present my university theme, the Paradiso Chapat. So, in English, it's Team Tomato. And uh, as it was said, we are a university team. We are building electric vehicles. So, to begin with, uh, our mission is to make popular the electric cars and all the uh, alternative vehicles and in the meantime uh, the self-development of our team members uh, is important too. So the team was created in 2011 and you can see the development of our cars. So our So on the first two pictures you can see it, they are very basic. Uh, they were built to the Bosch's Electromobile competition and uh, they are going with drills. And after these two competitions we searched for new challenges. So we built our third car, the white one, for the alt race. And after that, we was decided to search for something bigger. That's why uh, we wanted to create something very unique and to go to an international competition. Uh, we choose as an international competition the Shellaco Marathon. Uh, in this competition, there are two main groups for the vehicles. The first one is the prototype group. Actually, it's a real uh, car on this uh, competition. It's the uh, car of our university's prototype group, and the other one is our uh, vehicle. It's for the urban, urban concept group, and the goal of this uh, competition for the urban concept vehicle is to create uh, a car that is look like a real car that you can see on the road. And uh, as I said, we wanted to create something very unique. And as you can see, the front wheels are spikeless. And in the meantime, uh, it's uh, it's a hub motor in the first in the yes in the uh, front wheels. Yeah. Thanks. So this is our wheel, and it's a BLDC like motor, the maximum performance is 5 kilowatts and uh, as it's very unique uh, we needed unique island core and the bearing was created for only for us and uh, we have now the new magnets and at the end I want to speak about the challenges as uh, it's a very special car there and uh, we had many problems with it. Uh, no, I wouldn't say problems, they are more like challenges. So for example, we are mostly engineers and we were creating something new and uh, we didn't have the physics for it so we had to search for new members who know more about magnets and magnetic fields for example. And after a few months and years, the founders of the team left the group and we got some plans about the, the wheels. And when we tried to assemble it, uh, well, the plans wasn't so good. So the, the magnets are very strong. So one uh, iron part of the wheel was stuck to the magnets and we tried to deassemble it but we couldn't so there was a guy who stand into the wheel so okay I will stand here and another two, one, two uh, guys try to lift the wheel but they didn't lift the wheel they lifted the wheel and the guy so it was really hard to to manage this kinds of problems but at the end as you can see it very looks like a car now it's still not uh, working because we have some uh, work on it to, to finish but 
Uh, I think in next year there will be the Shaleco Marathon in June, so I hope uh, it will be able to uh, take part of the competition. So thank you for your attention, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Yes. Yes. Now, no, but a few months later, yes. But if you want to see it in real, there will be a, a conference at the university and on the 3rd of November, so feel free to come. Thank you. Yeah? What is max speed in this? The distance depends on the number of the battery that you put in the car and, and the maximum speed is uh, between 80 and 90 km per hour. Yes? What's the prototype body is made of? Sorry? What, what material are you using for the body? Uh, okay, so it's uh, glass fiber. Fiber glass. Yes. Yes. Yes? How far can you go with that? Or how far is it to drive? Or, you know. How is it like to drive this car when that's 80 kilometers per hour? Yeah, I just really want to test drive. But in terms of a test drive. Uh, you can test drive it in about June, <laughs> but as it looks like a real car and it has the, the same things in it, so right. the same thing, so it's like driving a real car, but it's going with electricity. Any other questions? Yes? How many members does your team have? Uh, now we are about 20, but uh, there was more than 20 people working on this car since the beginning of the planning. Yes? How much money have you spent on the project? <laughs> <laughs> Actually it's hard to tell because we have some sponsors who didn't give us money but gave us material or gave us uh, uh, help engineering hours and so on, so I cannot tell it. But as it's a very special car uh, with special design and special uh, equipment and parts, uh, it's not so cheap. More, more than one Tesla or less? <laughs> Actually, I don't know how does it cost now or Tesla, but if you can tell me, I can tell you. <laughs> Starts around fifty, sixty thousand dollars and it's in Hungarian for <laughs> well, It's like 15, 15 million. Oh, it's or, less than that. Uh, I have a better question. What are your chances of doing this? Uh, Actually, very slow. Hello. And it's uh, because... Uh, well, how to say... Uh, we don't have uh, all the equipment for building uh, a very, very, very energy efficient car. And Shaleco Marathon is, is about energy efficiency. And uh, another thing is that uh, we didn't build this car only for Shaleco Marathon, so it's a bit over engineered. It's bigger than the others in this group, so. But uh, we can drive fast. All the other cars can go only about 20 or 30 km per hour because it's the maximum of this competition. Okay, thank you.